go to the upper arms. Grab underneath the arm like that and pull it back like so. Then we can work the upper arm from this position. And you can lean it against the body if you want a little bit so it doesn't flop around so much. If you have an apron on, work down and up, Go down the front and up the back. And we can get down around the shoulders. You could also work a little thumb work down this part of the arm. Like so. And then you can also take it like this, straighten your arm out, holding your elbow so it doesn't flop down, holding under there, and then you can hold it under here and work down like so. with a little stroke. Okay, so the stretches are good. You can do before you oil the arm. It's a little easier. You take the arm out, give it a little rock, and lift up. I'm going to grab at the wrist. I'm bending down so I don't bend my back and just Lift up with my toes, stretch the arm up. And then put our back this way, give a little stretch. You can lean, do some pressure point work down with the hands, down the upper arm. And come back here, stretch like this. And then you can also, coming over to the other side, and stretch like this. And here you can also grab here at our elbow and reach under. And I'm going to grab behind the shoulder blades and lift and stretch. That feel good? Mm -hmm. So, and then one last stretch. Okay. So we're here we're applying the oil as well as, again, giving some nice long strokes while we apply the oil. And here, what you can do is go Underneath, I'm going under with my right hand and pulling up, and under with my left hand and up the neck, under with my right hand, pulling up. And I'm encouraging the curve of the neck too, pushing, letting my hand push up the neck a little bit so it feels a little better that way. I'm going all the way up the neck. So you're stroking as well as giving a nice little stretch because I'm leaning back. So it's giving a natural pull at the same time. Okay. And then over the top of the shoulders, leaning into each shoulder, pushing down. Then we can work each side of the shoulder with the thumbs, the top of the shoulders. Feel for those tight spots and hold. These points are really nice just to give a few moments to hold them to let go. Okay, it's always nice to stop on these points that are usually tied on most people on the very top of the shoulders and just hold them for a few moments. If 
you want. You can sit here for, you can hold these points for a couple minutes until you feel a pulsing if you want to do it that way. It can be really relaxing. Okay. Okay, so I'm just holding these points. This is right where it's really tight on most people. Not putting a lot of pressure. You can just let it, just hold it gently and it really helps that muscle to let go. You can hold this up to a couple minutes and if you want. This helps. It's a very relaxing point to hold. It really relaxes the whole body. There we go. Work some more with the thumbs. So I'm working all along the muscles here on the top top and slightly to the back where they're tight. And you can just feel along the top, feeling, doing little circular movements along the back side of the top of the shoulders where they're tight. Just working all over the top of the shoulders down to the top of the scapula there. Then, underneath, in the other hand, on her head, I'm going to turn it to the side. I'm just going to turn it a little bit so that I can get the side of the neck. And you want to just stay down this side of the neck. You don't want to go over to the front. Here I'm also just naturally, because my hand's there, I'm also working with my fingertips on the other side of the neck. Because I'm just doing a squeezing motion here with my hands, so my fingers are going up at the same time, the other side of the neck. So you're really working both sides of the neck at the same time. stroke and do the other side the same way. You can see how my fingers are working the other side of the neck at the same time. So some people you can do this with and some it's harder. You can just feel if it works. You can take by holding one hand under the neck, you can reach under with the other hand down between the spine and the shoulder blades. And once they're lifted, then you can get the other hand under the other side. And you can work up with your fingertips. And then I'm working with both hands, the fingertips, along that tight area that's so tight on most people, the rhomboids, between the shoulder blades, between the shoulder blades and the spine on both sides. The circular movements. I'm slowly working my way up to the top. Do that again. Holding, and you can reach down both sides. Circular movements. Working my way up. and up the neck with the fingers. And then you can work up the neck, both sides of the spine with the fingertips, like so. Circular movements, slowly working your way up to the base of the skull. Reaching under, getting my hand under head. 
I'm going to work along the muscles that attach to the base of the skull along the occipital ridge there. This is really an important area. Another attachment point. They're working these points, which are usually tight, just some circular movements with the fingertips. This can really help all the muscles of the neck to let go and can really help with headaches and neck tension. I'm just feeling with my fingers for tight areas on the muscles there all along the edge of the, the skull, down underneath the bottom of the skull. And just work that till you feel it loosen up a little bit. Stroke up the neck again. We did at the beginning. And here at the end, you could do a real gentle little pull since we're underneath there. Let's go, gentle pull. shoulders and finish with a holding at the base of the skull.